Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. I want to keep you guys ahead of this market right now in FIFA 23 because are we at some of the lowest points for prices on meta cards in this game that we are going to see even as team of the season is upcoming? I think that is a very high possibility. I know we talked about it a lot yesterday. I want to talk about it some more today and of course look at the current state of this game in terms of content, in terms of it's just kind of a slower week. We're all waiting and the hype is building for team of the season but for right now that just means that we're waiting, right? I want to talk about that and how that's impacting the market and what to expect today with probably more upgrade packs coming on a Monday inside of our content for warm-ups team of the season series. Of course, I'm in a different location right now just for a couple of days. I know it's not up to par with the normal setup. Hang with me for a couple of days. We'll be back uh, as normal here pretty soon, but it's a decent time to take a break because like we mentioned, the content is kind of slowing down. It's not as insane as it has been. There's a lot of content out but it's not absolutely crazy like it was maybe during foot birthday, right? It's a lot of just waiting for team of the season. So without further ado, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start by taking a look at yesterday's SBCs. We had the showdown and to be fair, EA did the business with some nice W upgrades on Ben White. I know he's got two star skills. He's got the four star weak foot, medium high. He can also play right back, which is interesting, but they gave him the plus five pace boost and they did make these really expensive guys. Gundawan and upgrade SBCs, or sorry, Gundawan and expensive SBCs just seem to go hand in hand. It is a nice boost from his card yet earlier on in the year. And if he does get a plus two, if Manchester City do get this win, it'll be a very, very nice card. But guys, you know just as well as I do, when you take a look at the price of this SBC, it is not good let me just double check and make sure we're cooking we're cooking right here uh if you take a look at the price of this sbc 700 000 coins for gundawan like that is just too much for this card and also for ben white being 355 000 coins i think that's too expensive for him as well it's not over the top but given the parameters of the fodder market right now i do believe that is just a little bit too expensive for them both especially with the way city are playing way arsenal are playing you think this gundawan might get a plus two if you're a city fan maybe you're going out and trying to craft this but still too expensive definitely some prem tax going on there but still it's nice to have some sbcs of course that kind of relate to the upcoming games that we have in terms of the big game that is happening on Wednesday. So that was part of our content yesterday. We had the La Liga upgrade as well, the 81 plus La Liga upgrade, which is very similar in requirements to the Syria SBC, but just a little bit different, right? You need 285 overall players in this 84 raid squad. So again, it's coming in at about 70,000 coins. You know what I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to be waiting until the Premier League upgrade is out. I'm going to be the most interested in that one, especially since it's the most uh, like recent team of the season to be coming out to open these kind of like league specific upgrade packs for. So I think I'm going to be waiting for that to do a lot of the 81 times 11s. I'm going to probably try to get one of each, at least for each week of team of the season. But then later on this week, definitely try to hit the Premier League ones just a little bit more with the fodder that I do have in the club. Now, also yesterday, we had uh, the bronze and silver and some of like the League SBC or what they call League SBCs this year, kind of that grind and craft re-release. The prime bronze upgrade, the mixed leagues upgrade, and then you have these, uh, the prime silver upgrade and the premium mixed leagues. Now, the grind for this, I want to show you guys a tweet because I think there was a really good tweet here and I want to put this link in the description of the video. If you want to know how to grind this, if you're trying to like kind of do bronze pack method to grind up these packs, I think this thread here from BPM Nerd, again, link in the description. I'll show you guys this and uh, talk through it just for a second. But you can open bronze packs and go through this to get yourself an easier way of getting 83 pluses or some of these other cards you've accumulated. You can open like the silverware smelting and stuff like that with inside of this. So there's a lot of information in here if you want to check it out, linked in the description. But that was yesterday's content. The La Liga upgrade, the silver upgrade packs, and then the showdown, which really, it didn't move the market all too much. There were some Arsenal cards that went up in value. Like if you take a look, uh, I think a lot of people are doing the Ben White SBC for the value. Take a look at the Arsenal Zinchenko. He is going up in value, 240,000 coins right now. He was 210K just a couple of days ago, right? He was down here at 218. Even with the market being as low as it is, some of these cards are already started to go back up. Now, one of the cards that I had invested in was Martinelli. And I have to wonder, is Martinelli up right now? He is 350K. So he's up a little bit as well after the Ben White was released. Some of those Arsenal links did go up more than others. I think that's just because 
that's the popular SBC people were getting done out of the showdown yesterday. Since it's got 85 pace, Ben White was really usable earlier on in the year, and the four-star weak foot is pretty nice for his card there. Now, let's talk more about the market because you're like, Nate, you're broke, bro. Where are your coins? Like I said in yesterday's video, and I don't want to belabor this point. I don't want to talk about the market in terms of buying and investing like we did yesterday for the whole entire video today. But guys, this market is near its lowest on a lot of these cards. I'm glad that I bought some ESOC last night, of course, with the terrible performance that Spurs had yesterday and the amazing performance that Newcastle had, this ESOC, even though that game did not actually count for his upgrade, um, I mean, it kind of did, but it didn't account for him getting another performance-based upgrade. He's already hit the goals, appearances, and the win. He's up to like 300,000 coins. I'm glad I bought some ESOC at like 260, 250 last night because he was very, very cheap. And some prices have done that. Some prices have bounced back up from where we were at yesterday's video when we started talking about, hey, this might be a really good time to buy. Now, other prices, prices are actually down. Uh, Mbappe was like 365 on the video yesterday. Mbappe was as low as three, he still is, 345,000 coins right now for Mbappe at the moment. That's the lowest that he has been. And guys, I think it doesn't go too much lower than this. I think that if you're looking around the market and if there were prices that went lower compared to yesterday when we were looking at stuff, Ginola was like 620. I saw Ginola under 600K earlier yesterday. He still is there, 590. I, I really believe, guys, that we are near the Low or maybe at the low point for a lot of these cards. And that's why I'm pretty much all invested because some of these cards will be going higher throughout the end of this week on this game as people start to realize that, okay, the content's going to slow down a bit. Yes, we might have a couple upgrade packs. Yes, we might have a couple things that people might be doing via SBCs, but a lot of the panic happens on the weekends this year. Um, apart from like big leaks happening in the middle of the, of the week, a lot of the panic is happening on the weekends. And I think that means and that's gonna hold true for this weekend as well as we head into a week of FIFA content that's probably going to be and seem quiet and slow and not that hype as we wait for team of the season. That's why I think this panic selling that we have right now is a time to really get into some cards. Joao Felix was 560 uh, yesterday on the video. We were looking at him. He was down to 500,000 coins flat. If I see one pop up at 500K with my last 820K, I'm gonna pick one of those up because that is very, very cheap. Now, if you're like, Nate, what cards am I supposed to be buying? Again, like we said in yesterday's video, I would be buying cards that are out of packs, of course, what what is impact right now? But you know, cards that are rare, that are meta and popular, stuff that people are going to want to buy for their teams, uh, and to link up with maybe cards that are in community team of the season, cards that are going to be in air divisi team of the season. That's why I picked up this Cancelo, right? Cancelo team of the year is one for me that has fluctuated so much on this game and on this market throughout the year. 290 for this card after him being even 330 yesterday. He had 330,000 coins literally yesterday on this game. He fluctuates so much. He's not getting a TOTS card, obviously, at least a not, a not a Premier League TOTS card. And in the community team of the season and Prem team of the season, it's kind of Premier League heavy, right? These first couple weeks, especially in community TOTS, there's going to be a lot of Premier League players. So I would maybe also try to focus on some of those cards on the market. But again, guys, like we looked at the Martinelli and like we've been looking through some of these team of the weeks, it's all about the rarity. Cards that have been fluctuating up and down, like the Foot Birthday Marquinhos is one that I look at as a really good card. He's maybe not a super low price right now, but that's a card that I see moving up and down all the time in this market. You guys know that I bought a couple Darwin Nunez in the 380,000 coin range. He went back down to that price, maybe even lower yesterday, rode to the finals, future stars. I mean, I'm trying to stick to the cheaper cards. Like look at Mudrick, man. Yesterday, Mudrick had never gone below 500K. I got one on bid at 459, thought it was an amazing deal. Here he is back at 460K. So I'm trying to focus on Premier League and I'm just trying to focus on cards that people have used a ton this year because those are going to be the cards that are the most meta that people gravitate back towards. Like Cancelo on Footbench shows 289 right now. I would buy that instantly if I saw that come up because he was literally 330K yesterday. So those are the types of cards that I would look at. But again, if it's something for your team that is rare, that is meta, that is out of packs, it's probably going to do well. Once again, we expect prices to go up on that part of the market after people open packs for team 
of the season and you get a bunch of coins that are put onto the market now will all cards go up i mean the answer to that cannot be yes there will be some cards that do fall further it's just going to depend on what content that we get if we get an absolutely insane sbc for a premier league right wing player could anthony foot birthday be hit and be hurt in price because of that absolutely so there's always some risk involved with investing or buying a card for your team right a lot of this right now is presenting a great opportunity to buy a card for your team and that's also a lot of you guys who i'm trying to speak to by, by talking about this is it's an absolute great time to do this and i don't think prices go too much lower than this right also i want to say this too you know some of the prices that i bought at yesterday like i bought darwin nunez at 380 and 385 i think um i'm sure there was a couple times today i wasn't on the market that much um but he's 395 right now i'm sure there are a couple times where he was like 370 or i got anthony martial's at 330 and i just saw him flipping that he was 320 i don't know if he's actually sitting there or not but you may not get the absolute lowest price yet, 329, so he's right down where I bought him at and even a little bit lower. You may not get the absolute lowest price. Don't be too worried about getting the best price possible for every single card that you're looking to buy for your team. If it's a card price that is down way lower than it was before, and it's a card that you have been wanting for your team, like 390 for this 99 dribbling Kimmich is crazy. I would say if you're happy with the price, it's as low as it's ever been, and it's going to go straight into your team, especially as we head towards team of the season. Don't think twice about buying that card and just buy it. If you're buying a rare meta card that is really, really low, it's going to end up doing really well for you. So again, if primarily center midfielders and center backs as well, I think I see Varane winter wild cards at a pretty low price right now. That's another great thing that we were waiting on yesterday is waiting for that um, the Ben White and the Gundogan SBC to affect the market a little bit more. And it might have so boom, another opportunity to buy on some of those cards as well. Now, if you're like, Nate, I don't really want to buy cards for my team. I'm looking to buy team of the season cards. What other investments can I make right now? I've got some other investments for you guys. We're looking at golds because what do we think about Mondays? Mondays are always upgrade pack days. Gold commons right now, you can probably still get on bid for about 400, 350 to 400. I would stock those in your club. If you're on a low budget, if you don't want to buy meta cards and risk that, risk some fodder. What's this week about? It's about packs, right? There's going to be more upgrade packs released today on Monday. I think non-rare golds for 350 to 400 have been a great buy all weekend. Kind of a last chance as people who maybe are opening weekend league rewards. Those are going to be going away. I've got weekend league rewards actually to open for you guys in this video since I won't be streaming for the next day or two. Um, but I think gold commons are a great stock. Gold rare Players at discard price are a great stock as well. I mean, technically they're like on seven, 700 coin snipe, uh, 650 bid. I would get as many of those as you can if you're on a lower budget. Those could be going up throughout this week, especially as we start to get team of the season uh, leaks. As we get closer to Friday with the team of the season cards dropping in the game, there's going to be more hype building for that. More people building those 83 plus packs or the 82 times tens or just trying to rinse through as many upgrade packs as possible. I would invest in those and also gold 82 rated cards don't sleep on 82s because 83s are going to keep going up this week and 82s actually spiked to above a thousand coins yesterday and as i take a look at some of these guys on the market with a little bit of supply and maybe some footbit undercuts yeah there are, there are a thousand coins right now if you can get these guys on bid for 900 coins or below on 82s especially if you can get like 850 I think that is a great investment on the fodder side of things. Let's take a look at fodder right now. Just to double check that you can see it. Scuff setup, I know. Uh, yeah, 82s at 850 to 900 are fantastic. That's a low budget investment for later on this week. A lot of the fodder prices are about the same. 85s, 14K, 84s, four and a half. A lot of your high rated fodder is about the same as well. Again, not much supply and a lot of demand is gonna press these prices up still later on throughout this week. Still be listing for lazies, still be looking to collect your profits soon, especially on the higher tier. But fodder is just making people so many coins right now in this game. It is nice. It's just not nice if you're trying to do SBCs like the 81 times 11 and you don't have much fodder in your club. But those are kind of the, um, that's kind of the state of the fodder market. Invest in the gold rares, non rares, and the 82s because today, one of the leaks that we have had, right, is for that 86 plus double upgrade SBC. And I think as a part of today's content, what you're gonna see is 
that 86 plus double SBC is going to drop today. It's probably going to be a bit of a quiet Monday, right? As we've been saying, this is just kind of a quiet week in general for some people with no special cards and packs. That's just how it feels. Today, uh, either the Bundesliga, the Ligue 1, or the Premier League 81 times 11 will most likely be dropping today. I could also see EA doing some sort of like I don't know, 81 plus player pick, maybe we already have an 80 plus double through the Trophy Titans uh, upgrade pack, right? Yeah, tra the trophy crafting update. We still have an 80 plus double pack that is here. So maybe another player pick they put out today, you know, like an 81 plus double. And that 86 plus double, I think is gonna make 84s, 85s, and potentially 83s go up even more. Today is gonna be more demand for that. And then of course, with another 81 times 11 per league, you're going to see some of those prices moving as well. That might be all that we get today on a Monday. We still have the Nesta SBC that has not been dropped yet, but that could be pushed later into like Tuesday or Wednesday. Could be today as well. And I know it's a Monday, guys, but don't be uh, thinking that they could also not drop a loading screen. They could absolutely drop a loading screen today, which would begin even further the, the team of the season hype, which I know some of you guys might be like, Nate, if, if they're going to drop a toss loading screen, wouldn't that mean that prices would go lower? Maybe a little bit, but I think Mondays, like we normally see, the transition from uh, people wanting to panic and, and open their rewards and think about selling cards and kind of transitioning into the gameplay demand and all that kind of stuff, that could be kind of the turn of the tides there on the market today as well. That's why I really want to stress that this market is so low on certain areas and I do believe it is going to go up. So let's end the video today with our weekend league rewards. Shout out to Eddie for helping out with the games. Let's see if we can get any good reds. Vitinha. I will take Vitinha. That's just good fodder. I mean, Ollie Watkins might be more usable, but I will take that for 11 win reds. Who else are we going to get in here? Uh, Griezmann is the best who we can get, right? We'll take the Gregorio. If we get a Griezmann, that would be insane. Not expecting it though. Just love me a greasy Griezmann. Um, I'll take Spinazzola for the dynamic image and 85 rated. Okay, I'm also gonna open the 84 plus player picks. I know these would be nice to save, but I can't open 10 coin packs. Nice informed stones. I can't open 10 coin packs um, or any other packs that I may have that could give me a little bit of fodder. Yeah, if I'm, uh, if I'm leaving these here. So I will take that from awards. I'm gonna save all the other packs. And uh, yeah, don't forget to do your daily login because today is day four, I believe, of the daily login. And we will be all getting a triple 84 plus pack today on the grind to the team of the season player pack guaranteed there in the SB or in the objective section. Um, I don't know if we're going to be getting any objectives today. Um, of course, tomorrow we'll look at first owner fiesta and stuff like that. But guys, it's probably probably going to seem pretty slow, but I think that's going to help the market today on this game. If you want to invest, go for it. We'll talk about card prices and stuff throughout the rest of the week, watching these cards fluctuate and maneuver and stuff like that. But get on the bids, get on the snipes. And for those of you that, that remembered or commented down below in yesterday's video about the uh, quote that we made, GG's if you knew what that quote was, an absolute legend in the investing world, Warren Buffett. So that's the video for me today, guys. I will see you in a video tomorrow. If you did enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Have a happy Monday and a start to your brand new week. It's been Nathan with Account. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.